Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the uh, top three finishers from the uh, ninth round of the Pro Master Championship. Uh, here we'll have a quick word with, with each of them. Start off with the third place finishers today. The championship leader uh, was uh, Matthew Brabham. Started uh, in third place. Didn't stay in third place for the whole race, though, Matt, Matt, Matthew. That was a tremendous battle you had going on between the three of you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was an exciting race. Um, with the long back straight, we normally just slipped straight past each other. So it was a bit of a war going on there, three cars wide on the first lap. And uh, yeah, it was just all about strategy and trying to place your car on the back straight so you got the toe right. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's, it's a shame to lose the win streak, I guess. But, uh, you know, we can't have every win, so we'll take it as it comes. But yeah, for me, it was a great race. I'm so happy for Shelby and Spencer. And uh, yeah, it was just so much fun. I just like to thank everybody that supports me, the master, and uh, the intro to guys and Andretti. What happened out there on the, I guess, a couple of three laps to go? Uh, you were in second place, challenging Spencer, and uh, you had a bit of an up in turn three. Yeah, I mean, me and Shelby were just like fighting each other to get to Spencer and fight for the win. I mean, Shelby made a little bit of a, of a mistake coming onto the main straight. I managed to just get up on the inside, and then like two corners later in turn three, I ran a little bit wide and dropped a wheel off. Uh, where Juan, uh, Juan Petrohita crashed, so then Shelby slipped past me. So, but yeah, I mean, it was just a little bit of a mistake. But um, yeah, I'm still glad to be up here on the podium. Second place finisher today started from the pole position for the third time this season in the number 28 car for Andretti Autosport. Shelby Blacktop had to be set. You had to settle for second place, but a little bit of frustration, but still you've got to be happy with the way the week's going. Yeah, I can't. I can't complain. I mean, the Andretti cars have unloaded so fast, and uh, the weekend's been so good and positive. And I, I must say, this is my first time ever in Motorsport, and this is a fun track to race at. And three wide on the first lap. Unfortunately. Uh, wasn't the smoothest race for me and Matt. Just uh, a lot of mistakes and uh, let Spencer get away. But congrats to Spencer on his win and thanks to all the Andretti Autosport guys for all their hard work this weekend and a fun race. It's going to be especially satisfying, Shelby, coming back from a, a, a tough weekend in Toronto just, just last weekend. Very much so, yeah. Toronto definitely, uh, we collected the points we could and got out of there with our tails between our legs. But unfortunately, but happily, we came back here, got the pull today, and uh, got a podium. And hopefully, tomorrow we can go for the win. So uh, the first win of the season this, this weekend, uh, you've won, you've finished second in the USF 2000 Championship for the last two years. Finally got your first pole this morning, Spencer Pickett. You were struggling though in, in the testing and practice, uh, but uh, in that number uh, 81 car for Team Pelfrey, uh, talk about the changes you met, perhaps made over, overnight and what it means to get that first win in Pro Master on your belt. Yeah, it was a big team effort this weekend. Uh, we were struggling a little in, in practice barely cracking into the top five and uh, made quite a lot of changes overnight. Um, had a really good session this morning, uh, couldn't quite beat Shelby to the pole, but uh, started on the front row and um, it's, it's great for me, it's great for the team. Um, you know, we've been uh, working hard all year and haven't quite had it for uh, some of the other teams, uh, especially after Toronto, which was probably the worst weekend I've ever had. To come back and get the win is uh, great, for, great for the whole team. And how difficult was it to hold off these two guys in those last few laps? Yeah, well, after the restart, I was able to get a little bit of a jump, but uh, I couldn't quite break the draft and then made a little mistake on the last lap, and uh, Shelby was right. We were side by side. In fact, I think he was a little bit ahead of me um, on the back straightaway, and I uh, was able to just hold the inside through turn eight. And uh, yeah, it was great racing. Me and Shelby were joking around that it's such a turnaround from last weekend for both of us, so uh, just to be up fighting for the win is uh, great. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, do it again tomorrow. Yeah, the race tomorrow is at 4.20 in the afternoon after the ALMS race. So, uh, top three today, in first place, Spencer Piggott, second place, and it's Shelby Blackstock from the pole position, and third place, Matthew Brabham. Um, Spencer, can you talk a little, bit, <coughs> a little bit about the restart? It seemed like you got a pretty good jump. Like, did you have so many, you know, you had so many laps down the safe car, were you going through six million different ways you could do it, or did you have it planned for us all the way? Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure we were even going to get back to green racing, and then uh, I guess they extended the race a little bit longer, which is good. Um, and I just tried to go early and uh, get a bit of a jump, which I was able to get a bit, and uh, tried to keep it flat around one and two the first lap, which uh, was pretty exciting, and tried to put a, a good first lap together. And then you talk about the, the draft, breaking the draft. Uh, you saw those guys dicing behind you, and you were sort of excited that this or excited or surprised, you know, they, they the two teammates work, working together a little more? Not really. I mean, uh, I've always, all my teammates in the past, we've always fought hard. You know, we all want to win, so um, 
I was, I was, yeah, I was pretty excited when they were fighting and dropping back, and then the last lap just went a little wide at turn one, and uh, you could see Shelby closing throughout the lap and made for an exciting last corner, but uh, just barely held on to it. Shelby, I thought it, we've got most of the uh, interview on the plate, but inquire. Someone, it sounded like you said you did, actually didn't know you were on the last lap. You would have tried a little harder. Was it that? Uh, well, I mean, it was, it was a good. Uh, Spencer made a mistake in one, and then I made a mistake in three, and it was. It was kind of a sloppy last lap probably for all three of us, but uh, in the end, yeah, I got a really good toe down the straight. You got a really good, nice jump off the turn five feet. And uh, coming down the straight, had to pop early, and it was climbing up the uphill. We were side by side. If I knew it was last lap, I probably would have stuck around the outside of eight and uh, dive bombed into nine. But happens, I was trying to set up for the next couple of laps, but it happens, and hopefully we'll learn tomorrow. And then, uh, Matthew, you guys talked about you said it was a little sloppy. Was that? More because the tires weren't really warm when the track conditions, or just you guys pushing so hard. I just think we were just all antsy after the first the long restart, the long safety car period. I mean, we're all like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and then when we finally got to go, I think we were just pushing too hard and just making mistakes. I think that was just the main reason for it. Uh, not really anything to do with tires or track. I mean, it felt pretty similar to yesterday's practice um, conditions. So. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.